I'm Jerry Lynn Phillips. I've been at Wellspring for two years. I moved here most recently from Chicago. Um, the reason I came here very succinctly is that my parents were here when Wellspring opened and I liked it and they liked it. My parents were at Wellspring when it opened. I really liked it, but I lived in Chicago. I have never lived in Greensboro before. So one of the things I was concerned about, I really liked the place. My sister moved to Greensboro as my parents were aging, and she lives really two or three miles from Wellspring. Then my brother started talking about maybe buying a home for retirement in Greensboro. And I said, wait a minute. If you're both going to be here, I want to go to Wellspring. So here I am. I didn't go through a comparison process. I really just landed here because what I already knew about it. I think what I really figured out first was that it was comfortable. It's good looking. It's uh, friendly. We thought they had the best restaurant in town right here at Wellspring. The things that you have to do because of where you live are much easier here. There's somebody who takes care of it for you and it's already covered in our monthly fees. On the other hand, it has a lot of on-site entertainment, music, talks, various events, so that you're not having to rely on whatever it is that you like in the city of Greensboro, which is good in its own right. People imagine retirement as being a situation where you have your own choice of what you do from day to day, during the day, for traveling, for vacation. This is very much the case at Wellspring. There are a lot of activities, a lot of things that you can do. You pick and choose. You have to sometimes. There's too more than any one person wants to do. Or you can simply choose to continue living your own life somewhat in quiet. It's completely personal choice. I think the thing that surprised me most when I moved here was in fact the comfort level of meeting people uh, that I didn't know before. Very much a community. I know my next door neighbors on both sides here. That was not true other places I've lived. I actually have done a better job meeting here than I have in the past. I have been continually impressed not only how nice the Wellspring staff are, but they know everybody's name almost immediately when we move in. And that's, I think, one of the things that the rest of us emulate. You know, it's a good idea to know people's names. They're very friendly with us individually. Huge numbers of decisions seem to be made explicitly of what's going to make people more comfortable, safer, and yet more able to live their own individual lives. It's a very nice balance. I have two cats. They allow cats, dogs. There is no problem with having pets. A lot of people here have cats or dogs. There are people who come in to walk dogs for owners who can't really get out and do their own dog walking. Um, they're very much accepted and a normal piece of life. Individual activities, I do enjoy the music programs. We have a large number of people come in from all around, perform various types of groups individually, you name the instrument. Personally, I'm on the dining committee, which gives you some good behind the scenes discussion anyway. Uh, I'm on the garden committee. That's a, we don't meet as a full committee very often, but I do have two garden plots. At, uh, we have box gardens. One of them I have vegetables and one of them I have flowers. That I volunteer at Kernodal School tutoring, that's next door, tutoring during the year. I volunteer a couple of times a month at the shop, which is an, an on-site um, sundries and clothing type of place for residents. One of the things that people will mention is, I thought I was retired, I was going to have all this free time. I'm doing something constantly. It's our own choice, but we have no trouble filling up time if we want to.